Hello, in this series you'll be creating a cool little cartoon character that you can use for a film or game in a relatively short amount of time. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. In this video, we will start by creating the base mesh for our character. If you follow along, you'll get something that looks like this. The goal of the base mesh is solely to define the overall shape and volume of our cartoon character. So first off, we're going to open up Blender. I'm going to go ahead and delete the lamp and the camera because we don't need to use that at all. And we're going to go ahead now and uh, select our cube, tab into edit mode and just press Alt M and merge at center. So that will just take all the vertices of the cube and just merge it into one vertice right in the middle. So I'm just going to press numpad 1 on my keyboard, then press numpad 5 so that we get the um, perspective view rather than, sorry, we get the orthographic view rather than the perspective view. And then what you want to do is press E to extrude and Z to just go up to almost one square. Somewhere three quarters, I guess. Something like that. So I'm just going to scroll in. Uh, this will be the character's body. And, and we're sort of going for a character with a, a height of two meters. That's why I chose to, uh, two squares there. In the modifiers panel, go ahead and add a mirror modifier so that you can work on one side of the character and have it reflected on the other side, saving you half the amount of effort. Once you've done that, um, what you want to do is uh, you want to go ahead and add a skin modifier, like so. So this will effectively encase your edge with skin or mesh data. Finally, add a subdivision surface modifier. So the subsurf modifier will just smooth everything out and make it look more rounded and organic. Perfect for humanoids and animals. Now we're just going to go ahead and defi further define the shape of our character. So what I want to do is I'm just going to scale this down by pressing Ctrl A. Oh, actually, to see things better, I'm just going to go ahead and click this over here, the limit selection to visible, so that we can see the edge that is encased within the skin modifier. Then I'm going to go ahead and select all vertices like so. Then press Ctrl A to scale it all down to around about sort of like the the um, the shape of a body, a torso. Once you've got the shape of that body, you want to go ahead and select the top vertice and start to shape out the most of the character's um, body parts. So I'm going to go ahead now and start with the shoulder. Then I'm going to bring out the arms. So I know the um, so I know the part where the elbow is, is sort of in line with the belly button. So I might just put it somewhere around there. And then once more for the lower arm. And I'll just leave it there for now. Uh, for the top, I'll just extrude out once on the z-axis for the neck. So we have something that looks like that. And over here, I'm just going to go extrude out over here, one for the hip. And then two times for the upper leg and the lower leg. So that we have something that looks like that, which doesn't look so good now. I know it doesn't look 100% symmetrical, and that's because the mirror modifier was added first before the skin modifier. So the skin modifier is making everything a little bit wonky, but it doesn't matter because it's just purely our base mesh. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, select each vertice and just press Ctrl A to further shape out uh, each body part. So, uh, for instance, oh, this red circle over here, this just indicates uh, where the center of the uh, skin modifier is, the sort of the, like the root bone. So if you want to go ahead later and convert uh, this, this skin into an armature, you can just go under the skin modifier and create armature, and that will create the root bone over wherever this part, wherever this red circle is. Not so important for our case, but just to make it look uh, neat, I'll just mark the root there. That's generally where the root of an armature is. So I'll just leave it like that. And let's now go ahead and uh, further shape out the skin modifier to look more like a human. So I press Ctrl A and just scale things out until they look humanoid. So do the same with the arms. Ctrl A. That doesn't look right. I think the arms are a little too big, so I'm just going to move it in. It looks a bit like Slender Man or something. So I'm just going to maybe move it up a bit like that. Okay, so that's looking more humanoid. Uh, let's scale this down. Not too much. And scale this down. Scale this down. Scale this down a bit more. 
scale this down a bit more as well. Okay, I might select this one and move it back a bit to give a bit of a bend to the arm. And with the legs, I might just move it forward a bit at the kneecap and just move it up a little bit, like so. Okay, the body is looking a bit fat, so I might just go Control A and just scale that down a little bit, like so. And just uh, select that edge. And I might select this edge over here by selecting those two vertices. Press W and subdivide. That will just add more vertex data. And then I can further shape that as well. You can also control the scaling based on axes. So, for example, if I want to scale only on the, the Y axis, that is this green, this green axis over here, you can press Control A and then Y. So that will lock it only to the Y axis, not affect the X axis at all. So you can do things like that. So control A, X. We can sort of get that kind of a shape. Okay. Um, so I might move this a little forward. Might maybe add one more subdivision. Uh, I think that's looking actually pretty good. I quite like that. Okay. And for the top part of the neck, I might just move it out. Uh, in, move, I might move it forward a little bit. So it's looking like a proper human form. Cool. So I think that's a pretty good shape for a humanoid. Um, that's around about the kind of shape that I want to go for with my cartoon character. So I think I'll probably stop it at that. Maybe I might make the legs a bit fatter at the top. It's not so important here uh, that you get the full anatomy correct. Because with cartoon characters, anatomy is not so important. You can sort of get away with things, but it is nice to be able to um, get as much detail as you can in the space mesh. So, oh yeah, we need to create the hands. So for the hands, I'm just going to make it quite simple. So skin modifier is actually quite simple. You can pretty much do whatever you want. You can. Uh, well, the main thing that you need to know really is to extrude by pressing E, and then you know selecting vertices and then scaling by pressing Control A. And then maybe you're locking on the x on the axis if you want. So I don't need I don't want to scale on that one. I'm going to press Control Scale on this one. Control A, uh, and then extrude out once more to about the size of the hands. If you want to be anatomically correct, you can use reference images, but I'm sort of want to cheat a bit and not use reference images and just sort of go with my imagination. But obviously, having said that, having reference images is always much better than going by your own imagination because you'll get far more realistic results by using references. Okay, so I'm just going to just tweak things randomly. Uh, I'm going to move it out this direction, closer to the front of the body, because that's generally where the thumb is. And I'm not going to worry too much about the fingers, so I'm going to control A, Y, sorry, control A, X. If it's possible to do that, yep. Control A, X. Control A. I'll do something like that and then like that. I'm just going to do something so simple like that. So extrude out once more and add a bit of a curvature. A little secret that I've learned when you do uh, humanoid modeling is don't ever pose them straight like that. It tends to look very robotic in any part of the human body, whether it be the legs, the body, the hands, everywhere. Just add a little bit of a bend because it just looks more natural, more organic, more like a human. So that's just a little tip when modeling humanoid characters to make it look more interesting to the viewer's eyes. You just add a little bit of a bend. So I'll, I'll just follow my own advice and do the same over here as well. And I didn't uh, maybe extrude a little bit over here. Control A. And just adding a little bend. And might move it closer like so. I should might make it a little fatter. Something like that will be good enough. Okay, so the hands are done. With the legs, um, how will we do the legs? We'll just extrude it down once. Uh, extrude it outwards here extrude it out once more and I guess over here we'll just extrude it out 
backwards for the heel. I think that's about it. We'll be, that's good enough. At the front view, I might just like those two vertices. Control A, X to make it wider there. Uh, I might just select those two verts. Subdivider, W, subdivide. And I might just make it a little thinner here. And for the back, I might make it a little bit wider. Something like that would be interesting, I suppose. Okay, at the top, uh, over here I might go Control A, Control A Z. That doesn't work. Control A Y. Yes. So on the, on the, from the side view, I might go Control A Y. Make this one a little taller, but then increase the height. This Control A Y. Make it a little shorter, but then decrease the height a little as well. And here, control A, Y, make it a lot smaller and decrease the height. And also control A, X, make, make it a little bit more rounded out. Yeah, something that looks like that. We're not going to go for complex looking feet with fingers and things like that. Actually, I've done some like detailed character modeling with fingers and hands and toes and things like that. I tend to find when modeling those kinds of characters, the, the longest time is actually spent on hands and toes just trying to get the topology right and things like that is just a really long time so i'm hoping with this one it won't be as long okay i'm just gonna move the toes in a bit because I, it is probably a little bit big when i watch from side view again if you have references that's is really i suggest you use that because that, that's always much better than going off your eyeball i'm just doing it purely because i've done some character development before and, and for the sake of the length of this tutorial I'm just uh, eyeballing a lot of stuff. Okay, so that, that should be good enough for my case. All right, so finally to finish off this character's body, I think at this stage, I'm quite happy with the character's body and I'm just gonna let, leave it be. I mean, I can, go, I can go on tweaking for hours, but I'm just gonna leave it be for here. So let's just save my work. All right, so now that we've saved our work, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the head. So for the head, I'm just gonna extrude once more for the neck and just define how, about how long you want your neck to be. So I might just choose something that looks like that. Control A, make it a little skinnier. That looks good enough. Yeah, something like that looks good enough. From the front view, Control A, X. Let's make it a little skinnier there. I think that should be all right. And from the side view, what I want to do is I'm going to extrude once and just push it forward like so. So you get something that looks like that. And then extrude it upwards. And then extrude it upwards once more. So I know now it's looking like an alien-like character. And if you want to go ahead and create an alien character, then this, then I guess this is a good shape to start with. But I'm going to go for a humanoid character. So to make it look more humanoid, what I want to do is I want to press Control A and scale it on the Y axis, like so. And then over here at the top, Control A and scale it down on the Y axis, so that we round out the top. Cool. And I might just move the neck a little down just to shape things out a little better. Yeah, and then move this a little down. Oops. Move this a little down. Cool. So from the side view, it looks like a proper head. From the front view, Control A, X. And get it looking around the shape of a head. So. Generally, the guideline when, when, you, when it comes to getting the shape of the head is try to make it look like an upside down egg. But again, it's not it's not a don't follow that rule 100% strictly when it comes to cartoon characters because some cartoon characters can have round looking heads, some cartoon characters can have square looking heads, some characters can also have triangular looking heads. So it really just depends on the type of shape that you want to go for with your own cartoon character. I'm going to go for a sort of roundish shape. Control A, Y axis. And again, don't have to be too perfect over here because we will refine this later using sculpting. Just get the overall shape. It's just the base mesh that we want to get right. So I feel like it's a little too wide from the front. So Control A, X. Maybe a little too tall as well. 
I think that's looking better, uh, but there's not enough neck, so I might just increase the height of the neck a bit. Yeah, I think that's looking okay. Alright, so I think that's a pretty good start for a base mesh. If you want to add in more elements to your character, so if you want to go for a sort of supernatural character, you can do anything. Like for example, you can create a tail for your character. You don't have to 100% follow what I did, but if you do and you get something that looks like this, then that's a pretty good start. Uh, you can go ahead and, you know, for example, some people like to further define the muscles, so they, they would subdivide over here, press Control A and try to make those biceps more prominent, maybe even give it uh, a bit more deltoids. I don't know, it's really up to you. Um, but remember that the skin modifier is a little bit a little bit flaky to work with, just with the nature of how the skin modifier works. Just get the overall shape round about how you want it. Okay, so that's about it. So through a number of extrusions and pressing Control A to scale parts of the body, we've managed to create the basic mesh for our cartoon character. In the next video, we'll convert this base mesh to a fully sculpted character. So that means our character will have a face with eyes, mouth, lips and so on. And we can also do some final tweaks to the character's body if we want. Well, the current shape that I have over here is quite good. If you'd rather just get the completed 3D model, please click on the link below. And also please subscribe, like and share and I hope to see you in the next video.